Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we are going to discuss how to switch from a local account to a Microsoft account on Windows 11. So that being said, let's get started. If you want to access all the cloud services and the features that Microsoft offers, then you can switch local account to a Microsoft account. To do so, simply open setting application and here click on accounts and here click on your info. Here you can see that right now I'm using a local account. Now to switch to a Microsoft account, here on account settings, here you will find the option sign in with a Microsoft account instead. Here simply click on this link and it will open Microsoft account window. Here you have to enter your Microsoft account email address and password. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can simply click on create one and here you can enter your email address and create your password. But I have my Microsoft account, so I will enter my Microsoft account credentials. Then click on next. Now here enter your password. After entering your password, you have to enter your current Windows password. After that, simply click on next. Here you will find an option to set up Windows Hello. Here simply click on next. And here you have to verify your identity by entering the PIN. Once done, if you find a warning to verify your identity to sync password across your devices, here simply click on verify. And here you have to select your verification method. Here we have email, authenticator app, verification code from your mobile app and text message. So let me select the email option and you will receive a email with a verification code. Here you have to enter that verification code. After that, click on verify. Now here you can see that we had successfully moved to Microsoft account. So that's it. This is how you can switch from a local account to a Microsoft account. Now if you want to use a local account, then we already have a video on how you can switch from a Microsoft account to a local account. So I'll put the video link in the description box or you will get the video link in the i button. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.